Hi, I'm Miki Tebeka. Here at Outdoor Labs, we value your time. So we created this series of short videos, each of them showing a cool feature of the Go language or one of the libraries. Enjoy. In this short, we're going to see how you can stream JSON object. So sometimes you don't know how many objects are coming in. For example, you do a query from the database and you want to send the rows or the objects that you get one by one back to the client. So we have an event, which is a time, a user, an action, and a URI, and we are querying the database. And now for every row in the database, we are getting the event and then encoding it using this JSON encoder. This JSON encoder, I'm using a bytes.buffer to emulate a network. And then on the client side, I can create a JSON decoder. And this is going to get an event and decode them one by one. And when I'm going to run it, and then have a look at the result, we see that I'm getting all of these events. And the JSON basically encoding one object per line. This is sometimes known as a JSON lines format, and it's good that the Go decoder actually knows about that, but if you're sending to another language, they need to be aware of that. You can even combine that in HTTP with chunk transfer encoding that let you send over HTTP every time a piece of data. Mm -hmm.